Well, Steve, Steve, you proved me wrong. So, Steve Terryberry has just dropped a brand new video, and his tagline on this one, no Mr. Lyrics, there is no TTTTTTTTS on this video, but it does say this three string guitar is brilliant. Three stringed guitar. Stevie T is going to make this funniest, isn't he? Let's find out. Okay, Stevie, let's see what you got, my friend. Let's go. Hey, I'm Stevie T, and this is my first guitar. I right. got it back in 2000... 2003? <laughs> I was just shy of 16 years okay, old, man. and I bought this baby with my own money. 150 bucks this cost me. BK. And you know what? To this day, it actually kind of sounds like bull. The pickups are cheap magnetic pieces of poopy. The accessories and the uh, tuning knobs are cheaply made, so it never stays in tune. But you know what? <laughs> this is a cling. It's just his facial expressions man. are cheaply made, so it never stays in tune. But you know what? This was a fantastic beginner guitar. Sounded like scrotangulars. But it was my first guitar. Yes. And the reason I'm doing a value. video today is because probably the most common question I'm asked from people is what is a good beginner guitar? Because let me tell you, back 20 years ago, there were no options for beginner guitars. This was it. Just regular, no-name, crappy <laughs> guitars or like Nova guitars you'd find in Sears catalogs. And I mean, for a young person wanting to start guitar, this might be a little bit overwhelming. It's big, first of all, and it's got six strings. But luckily, these days, there's a lot more options for beginner guitar. You know what? My very first guitar is in here. I didn't know it was going to go. I didn't know it was going to go down this route with his very first guitar. My very first guitar is just over here. Mine was actually a make. Mine's a Yamaha Pacifica, but it's got strings missing. It's, and it's well out of tune. But yeah, sorry, Stevie T. I started with a good one. <laughs> Let me put that back. I love the uh, the maple neck on that one. It was it, I just I thought it was different and unusual because obviously Stevie T's is a rosewood neck, etc. So yeah, I used to like the, the things that were different. Taurus. And I think I found the one. Okay, here we go. Here's the grand unveiling. Oh, it's really small. Really small. <laughs> oh. Let's get the bass. out. What? Yeah, that's like a bass. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Lug Pro. Lug is a guitar company what? that makes guitars specifically for beginner guitarists. They're made much smaller, obviously. And perhaps the strings most obvious apart. feature is it only has three strings. And they're all far apart so you can get your finger in right and not hit the other strings. But you mean you're not going to be able to learn chords, are you? Why does it have three strings? Well, three strings is a much easier entry point into guitar than a full six string. And it's not all that different from an actual guitar. This is just the top three strings of a regular six string guitar. Right. G, B, and E. All you're missing is the E, A, and D strings, which a right, beginner guitar does not need all those strings. So I thought today we would put the Lug through a series of tests. I'm going to play a bunch of different guitar techniques and see how the Lug holds up. See if it can achieve my uh, Stevie T seal of approval. <laughs> It's so comfortable to play. I don't even understand. I think I might be a beginner guitarist. It's because the strings are so far apart, you're playing one string at a time, and you're not catching your fingers on anything else. Not that Stevie T would do that anyway, because obviously he's very, very accomplished. But this, um, using the top three strings, is purely, I think, to probably to get your fingers moving, because you're not going to be able to do card shapes on that, because it's just like the bottom three strings, or the top three strings, as he said. Right, okay, okay. This is interesting, and Steve's playing like a damn demon. It's so comfortable to play, I don't even understand. I think I might be a beginner guitarist. <laughs> Shred it, Stevie. Shred it, lad. All right, so first <laughs> test we're going to put the Lug through. Can it tap? Yes. 
<laughs> Alright, well, what do you say we try some eight finger tapping? That sounds good. That's cool. That sounded really good. Right, so can the loop... You couldn't really sit there and say that was like... If you had your ears, like your eyes closed and just listening with your ears, you could say that he was playing that on a, on a regular guitar, wouldn't you? That's what it sounded like. He was, he was smashing that, smashing it. All right, so can the Lug tap? You yes. bet. <laughs> you can't do cards, mate, surely. <laughs> I mean, technically, you could do power cards, but they'd be very, very high up, wouldn't they? Hmm. Right, next test, can the Lug play chords? No. A lot of you may be wondering, cards, how are you supposed to play chords on a three-string guitar? Well, the fact of the matter is, most guitar chords are comprised of no more than three notes. So, for example, if we play a G chord, G. there's only three notes in there. G, B, and D. So, in theory, right. you can take these chords, G, C, and we can do that on the Luke. Okay, we just Steve. play the same chords, ignoring the low three strings. G, C, D, G, C, D. Can't you see? G, C, D. What? Well, Steve, Steve, you proved me wrong. I'm sitting there thinking it's just the bottom three strings. They had no idea it would be comprised of three notes. You know what I mean? When you do, I just know the chord shapes. I don't know what the the, the, the notes are in, in every single chord and stuff. That surprised me. That then you know what? You made that sound really good. G C D. Check out my knee. And then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. It's a fact you can. <laughs> Troubles trying to sleep. No, let's forget thoughts in my mind. On my own, here we go. It works. It works. All right. So, can the Luke play chords? Yes. Pratutsky. Left hand corrected. You know what I forgot to test out? G, C, D, F, C, D, T. G, C, D. This is catchy, catchy, catchy. I actually find the string, like the uh, fret spacing, very comfortable for some reason. Right, Makes sound amazing. Test. Can the Lug riff? Of course. <laughs> it works. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It is proper twelve fretted as well to the to the two dots on the fret markers. <laughs> he was 
is entering Stevie Vai territory then with his couple of guitars. That's cool. Beat it, man. So a lot of riffs I had to transpose to the higher strings because yeah. obviously we don't have the low strings. Back. So it sounds higher, obviously. But it still works. All right, so can the Lug riff? <laughs> Kabuta! <laughs> it sounded like a minion then. Kabuta! <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next test is a tough one. Can the Lug sweet pick? Yes, it can. It's very weird for me because it's like there's not much body to, for me to rest my arm on, so I'm just kind of like dangling yeah, over the edge. Yeah. Like, uh, well, I'm exaggerating, <laughs> obviously, but. But it works. So it just makes it a little bit harder for me. <laughs> It works though. It absolutely works. I'm very, really, really impressed with this uh, three string guitar. I thought this was going to be a complete and utter parody video, but it's not. It's really, really like shocked me. So it just makes it a little bit harder for me. <laughs> So, can the Luke sweet pick? <laughs> what are you doing, Steve? <laughs> I'm impressed. Really impressed. Harmonics as well. That's, a, that's a finger exercise. I know what you guys are thinking. It's only got three strings. A 20 string surely <laughs> can gent. But can a three string gent? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm so gent. <laughs> you can't handle the gent. <laughs> I'm so gent. That's you can't handle the gent. <laughs> 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 love this thing it it's brilliant and he's just on every single style every single maneuver you can do with the guitar every single style well not every single style of playing but you, you get the friggin drift what he was doing with it everything that you need to do to do different like techniques is is available on that little three string guitar i mean that wasn't quite a, a redemption but it was cool enough <laughs> final verdict I freaking love this thing. It, is it cool. looks cool. The maple neck feels so smooth and buttery. I could play this thing all day. The pickup sounds very clean and it's very responsive. The hardware feels amazing and the guitar has stayed in tune after all my shredding on it. So, my god, Luke, you guys nailed this one. You knocked it out of the park. That's if you're cool. looking for a beginner guitar for your kid or even for yourself, 
I'm telling you, there no, is no, no better that. option. And this is at about the same price point as my first guitar. And this is way better in every way. So if you want to get your own Lug, follow my link in the description and use my promo code Steve Terryberry at checkout to get 10% off your own Lug. Now I will be making a commission. This was basically, it wasn't just a video for Steve Terryberry. This was an advertisement. <laughs> well played. From the sales, just full disclosure, but I am not sponsored by Luke. However, I do want my own signature model. I, I want a seven string in this size. <laughs> right, before you guys go, G, C, D, subscribe to me! G, C, D, subscribe to Stevie G. D, I'm going for 4 million subs. G, he is. C, D, you didn't subscribe yet. G, How are you doing it, mate? How are you doing it? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't quite like the funny style video that he usually does. I mean, there is some funny elements in there, don't get me wrong. But I mean, it was interesting to see him doing all the different um, techniques of obviously like playing guitar on a three string guitar as opposed to a six string guitar and absolutely nailing every single thing that he does. He's the guy's a legend when it comes to guitar work and stuff like that, but I mean, I was that skeptical when I read it. I was like, this three string guitar is brilliant. So I was like, is it though? But the way Steve played that, I have to, you know, take it off to him. He's absolutely fantastic. So go and get one if you want one. <laughs> anyway, what did you guys think of this reaction? Let me know in the comments. If you want to check out any more from Stevie T, there'll be a playlist right up there. Don't forget to subscribe. More importantly, don't forget to check out Steve's original video. And I shall see you all next time.